Good morning. Time to make the coffee. Today's coffee flavor is salted caramel. Again from Ollie's. It's good. And I'll have it with chocolate caramel creamer. The high temperature today is going to be 29 and we're expecting snow for the next two days. Yuck. So, uh, the winter is getting longer and longer. It seems like summer flies by and winter is just here and hangs on and hangs on. Well, anyway, so every year I have my taxes done by ARP and there's certain senior centers that will do your taxes for free. As long as you don't have more than 10 pages of uh, financial documentation, they'll do your taxes for free. Well, they usually say call the middle of January and make your appointment early. So I've been doing that, calling like the middle of January, and I called yesterday and they only had two appointments left, and those were at the beginning of April. So I snatched one up right away, and um, sometimes my financial institution is a little slow on the draw with sending some of my documentation. So it's probably for the best that it's later rather than sooner. But it is always nice to have that extra cash coming in uh, if you get a refund, with which most of us on a low income do get a refund. Um, but it's still, you know, I was hoping to get in there sometime in mid-March. So, oh well. But I've been doing that for, oh, a few years now. And I actually really like the senior center where they're doing them. I've tried the one in my community and it smelled like an old library, which, you know, old musty books. <laughs> but this senior center, it's a little bit further away, but it's a really nice senior center. I don't go there, but um, I tried going to our senior center a couple of times, and it was nice. I went and took a painting class, and uh, I took a Tai Chi class, and I may do that again in the spring. It was It was fun. So, and all the people there were really nice. So, you know, if you're lonesome and you have the uh, way to, uh, the transportation to get to your senior center, um, give it a try. They may even have a service to pick you up. I'm not sure. But it's worth a shot. So, let's give the coffee a try. So, my daughter told me yesterday that their pipes are frozen. Oh, I don't know. I wish they would get their house finished because I worry about that. <clears throat> and I hope she doesn't end up with burst pipes. But, well, what are you going to do? You know, they're, they're working on their house as they get some money. Um, so sometimes it's not always easy getting things done. It's not for lack of trying. But sometimes finances run a little short, especially in today's economy, because they bought that house before all the, you know, doo-doo hit the fan. So um, they've been working on it, but this has happened before where their pipes have frozen. And I feel so bad for her, for the whole family. So anyway... I said they can come here and take a shower whenever they want, and that's what they're going to do. So cheers. Ah, can't beat that first cup of hot coffee in the morning. So anyway, I made some soup yesterday, but then my grandson ended up sent me a text on his way home from work. Oh, do you want me to pick up a pizza for us? So it's like, oh yes, pizza sounds good. So I'll have that soup today. 
but I'll show you what I pulled out of my freezer in order to make the soup because I'm still on a very low food spend. Well, <laughs> yes and no, because I did end up buying uh, some groceries for my mom. Um, and of course, it's always expensive when I do the Costco run because of the dog food and the dog treats and you know, I got myself a couple little lounge suits, so um, if you don't buy those when they have them, they're gone, and that's that. So, And they were not super expensive. So, all right, I'm going to enjoy my coffee, and I will meet you at the budget book. Well, here I am back at the budget book. So yesterday I didn't spend any money. I stayed home. I did a little putzing around the house. Um cleaning up, moving some decor around where I thought it would be a little more refreshed. So like a redesign thing rather than a um, whole new design. Sometimes just moving your things around gives you a fresh perspective on things. At least I find that to be true. So um, I'm not planning on going anywhere for the next few days. We're supposed to have snow. And there's no point to going out if you don't have to. I don't go shopping anymore just because I'm bored. I used to do that. I used to love the thrill of the hunt. But now it's just, you know, with all the decluttering and things I'm trying to get rid of, it seems like a waste of my time to just fill it up again. So I'm on a mission to undo some of the shopping that I did. And, I mean, it wasn't to the point where it was hoarding, but it was excessive. So I don't do that anymore. I have no desire to do that. Um, I have no desire to have a minimalist house either. Uh, but, you know, just a very comfortable level of having your possessions because, you know, Hopefully you have some life left in you and you can still enjoy what you have. But the things that I'm not enjoying anymore or that have served their purpose, they need to go. Anyway, those are my thoughts on decluttering. So um, if you have a lot of things that you want to get rid of, just pick a room or pick an area. You don't even have to pick a room, just pick an area, whether that it's a couple of kitchen drawers or a closet and just take your time and go through your things and um, now usually when I go through my closet I try everything on which is a mistake I shouldn't do that because then it's like oh that still fits that looks pretty good you know and something that maybe served me well at one point um, really I probably won't wear anymore or just not justified to keep it because I wouldn't wear it that often. Because honestly, you know, I just wear very casual clothes now. I don't date. I don't want to date. Uh, so I don't need clothes for going out. Um, so a lot of those things can go. Now once in a while, I'll go somewhere where I need something a little nicer than a lounge outfit or a sweatsuit. So I can keep some, no problem. But I don't need the amount that I still have. So every year, every season, I go through my clothes and I have literally donated many garbage bags full of clothes to the donation. And some of them were like brand new. But um, so I really don't go crazy buying clothes anymore because there's no point to it. You can only wear so much. So I don't do that anymore. I don't spend money on a lot of decor because a lot of the decor that I have, I still like. And like I said, if I get tired of it in one room, I'll move it to another room and, uh, then you feel like, you know, you went shopping, you got some new decor. You can always paint it um, to make it cohesive. And then you can paint it again to make it cohesive for another room. So anyway, there are lots of things you can do if you don't have a 
huge income or even if you have a tiny income, you can still make your home nice. Um, now, last year I had, it was a stellar year for home repairs. I mean, it was, I had to spend a lot of money on this house. And uh, I'm hoping this year it lets up a little bit. Now, the, the, I know there will still be things that will need to be repaired because the house is 21 years old now. But I'm hoping that, you know, the furnace will hold out for a while longer yet. But I do have to replace some windows that have totally, um, the seal has been broken and you can hardly look out of them and it looks terrible. So last year I had my big huge front window done and I'm very glad I did because I can actually see out the window now. It was like you were looking through a dense fog. So anyway, uh, I need to save up more money because I know that uh, I'm still going to need repairs. I need help in my yard, um, and hopefully that will be happening sooner rather than later because I don't want to trim shrubs and bushes when the birds start making their nests and destroying their, uh, their babies. So, all right. I will be back in a little bit. 101 Ways to Simplify Your Life by Candy Paul Day number 72 Do what makes your heart sing. Everyone should carefully observe which way his heart draws him and then choose that way with all his strength. Jewish Proverb You have more energy and joy when you do what makes your heart sing. You go through life with ease and grace instead of struggling with frustration when you invest your energy in what you love. Your choice of what to do or what not to do becomes simple and clear when you discover something that makes your heart sing. This heartfelt way of living is worlds apart from dry drudgery or frantic fearfulness. A musician loves the music an athlete loves the sport, a teacher loves the learning. When you let love lead the way, you allow God's grace to support your endeavors. Give yourself permission to enjoy a better quality life by investing time and energy in something you love. Hey, well, I'm planning my meals for the day and I'm doing freezer cooking, pantry cooking, whatever I can muster up. So I have a little bit of all these cheese left here that I want to use up. A bagel, it's an onion bagel. I have a couple of sausage patties. I found some butternut squash that needs to be used up. I'm going to make a butternut squash soup. And I'm going to add one of the sausage patties to that. I'm also going to add some of this hickory smoke seasoning. And I'm going to add this uh, chicken flavored bouillon mix. And then for breakfast, I'll have the bagel and the cheese. And some of these crowns that I got at Mark's. I still have three salads, lettuces, that I need to use up, so I'm going to wash that, cut it up, and stick it in um, a mason jar. So I'm going to make everything in my air fryer for breakfast, and I'm going to make my soup in the slow cooker for tonight's dinner. Then I'm going to finally use up all this Kirkland garlic. I bought a new one. <laughs> this has lasted me, I swear, two years. But it's got um, oil at the bottom and it's some, a little bit of garlic left. And I'm putting that in my soup. I think it'll give it a good flavor. And finally be done with that. So, all right, there are my meals for the day. Using up what I have. And... Um, Still trying to cook down my freezer. I have a little tiny bit left at my mom's house. 
mostly just some impossible burger. Um, and then the next time I have a little space in my two freezers here, I'll um, bring some more over and put it in this freezer. I started off with three freezers, um, which was actually two freezers initially, but when my garage freezer went on the fritz after 40 years, I ended up getting a smaller freezer and that's how I ended up with three freezers because I, the bigger freezer wouldn't fit in the smaller for anyway. So now I have two freezers. I have a small one in the garage. It's like five cubic feet and I have the one in my house with other stuff in it. But I am trying to keep it more organized and use up a lot of the older things that I have and save some money because I'm still trying to save money even though I paid off my bills. Now I want to replenish what I took out of my long-term savings plus I want to save up for um, a few new windows and the landscaper I need to pay him to cut down some trees so I need to save up for that and what else? I don't know. There's always something coming up. So still lots of saving to do. Lots of things that need to get done that I've had to let go because I was paying off credit cards in my car. So, oh, and Christmas. I want to get a Christmas fund and put $100 into that every month. So, okay. That's it for my food today. So I'll be All back right, later. here is this morning's breakfast. Sausage sandwich with cheese and potato crowns. All right, I'm going to try and make a very simple wall hanging from Dollar Tree components that I had hanging up on the wall at one point, but they were on pegs, so I want to make one... Um, continuous hanging. So all these came from the Dollar Tree. So I think I'm going to just try and staple these and we'll see how it works. I'll be back. All right, the squash soup is bubbling along nicely. Should be done in a couple of hours. Then I'm going to add these little uh, Morningstar Farm sausage bits to it so that should be enough for two or three meals and it's great for this cold deep freeze winter meal. All right so here is my cozy reading corner um, I've got my New Testament that I've been reading every day Course in Miracles I've been reading that off and on so over here is where I put the Thing I just made and I think that looks pretty good um, it's doable and it doesn't look too cluttered over here um, I have this little fountain my printer is hidden behind here I finally just stuck my ring light over there I didn't know what to do with that and this is my desk chair so it's easily accessible to the desk. And then this is the new TV, which I'm loving. And I can see it from the bed. So the fireplace, all the Christmas decor is gone. But I'm keeping the mini lights because I like the way it looks. I think I'm going to paint over this a little bit, put a little bit of brown over it so it more matches this mirror. Same thing with these wall sconces so that it's all a little more matchy-matchy. I don't mind matchy-matchy. So that's what I'm going to do eventually. Maybe get some chalk paint. 
So over here are still Christmas things I have to put away. They have to go to the basement. And here I have, I store my candles in here. Various other things like uh, cords. So that I have over there. I still haven't made up my day bed. I think I'm going to get an orange fuzzy pillowcase for that standard pillow. Then I can sleep on there whenever I want to take a nap. So I've got that going on. I've got myself a little light here. So I think if my mom comes more often and I sleep on this day bed more often, at least I have it set up now so that it's comfortable. I have my two chairs. Sorry about the bad lighting. This still needs to go in the basement. This is what I had my Christmas tree on, another Christmas pillow. And so I have this sitting area over here. And then a side table and my bookshelf over here. And what is this? <laughs> oh, bandit. Oh, how rude. <laughs> okay, let's try that again. So I put two orange pillows there. They like them, but they throw everything on the floor. These guys. Everything goes on the floor. So anyway, that's how I did my living room now. And I think it looks much more open. This chair, I have it facing the TV because, of course, I watch TV in there. But it's really easy to just swing it around. And then I have uh, a whole seating area. So... I'm happy with the way my living room turned out now. I don't feel all cluttered in here. And I think it looks pretty good. So, all right. Oh, these guys are on the lookout for anything that doesn't belong there. Right, Chloe? And I still have to stain these dark to go with this whole setup here. So, all right, back to relaxing. Finish up my cup of tea. So, here it is my clean out the freezer soup. I'm going to add a little bit. It's got squash and lentils and vegetarian uh, sausage. And I'm going to add a little sour cream. If you're vegan, you know, add what you want. But I do eat dairy. So I'm going to add a little bit of the sour cream, and then I'm going to give it a little taste and see if it's any good. This is really thick sour cream. All right, let's give it a taste. Looks good. And this, this is lentils and grains and things that I bought at Mark's, so that's from the pantry. And uh, I've been adding that to my soups, and it's really tasty. I think it's their autumn blend or something like that. So let's give it a taste. Mmm. That turned out very good. All right, quick and easy soup in the slow cooker, no work at all. Throw the ingredients in, and you're all done. Make your home warm and cozy. Use what you have, put things in groupings, move things around as needed, and you'll always have a beautiful space. Fill up your space with those things that you love. Candlelight and ambient light give a space a warm glow. Well, time for some tea. It's just some red rose black tea. I like red rose tea. It's a 
very tasty. So I've been looking through some of my <clears throat> notebooks and paperwork for uh, 2024 to see what's what. And I came across my notebook. I have these all over that I take notes in. Um, and I came across this, uh, my Get Out of Debt Pledge. And it goes like this. I wrote this in 2020, January of 2020. And it's, maybe it'll help some of you too, to think about paying off your debt and what some of your goals are. And you can write your own pledge to yourself. And it says, I have everything I need to live a full, abundant life. Plenty of food, a beautiful home, wonderful family, good friends, peace, and tranquility. My animals, and plenty of money. Even though, you know, I'm low income, I tell, tell myself I have plenty of money. I even have enough to share. I don't need to live outside of what I have to feel fulfilled, and I don't need to overspend by accruing debt. The debt I have now will be vanquished, and a new, better, simpler life will be the result, without feelings of not having enough. And I signed it, Love Me, and then I dated it 1-2020. So... I've accomplished that pledge to myself, and I will stay debt-free. I'm not going to say anything negative. Um, I'm going to put it in a positive frame. I will stay debt-free. So my new pledge to myself this year is going to be to have everything organized and a home for everything that I have because I have little piles here and little piles there. It's not horrendous, but you know, it, it is uh, annoying to say the least. So that's going to be my goal for 2024 is to have an organized, simpler life, less things to take care of, making my home easier to to keep clean and neat and tidy. Now, I'm not going to go over the top and, you know, um, focus just on that. Another thing that I want to pledge to myself by making my life simpler is to do more of the things that I love to do. I want to make more time for painting and maybe crafting spending more time with family. Now, I spend quite a bit of time with my family. Thank God they all live close, but I want to spend even more time with my family. Maybe start having some coffee dates with friends once the weather breaks. Um, that I would like. Uh, nothing over the top, you know, not going out to eat once a week, nothing like that. Maybe meeting for coffee and a piece of pie or something would be nice. Um, so spending a little more time with family and friends, because as your life gets simpler, it'll free up time to be able to do those things. So I still want to concentrate on using what I have. I want to use it up. I want to um, make sure that everything I have is useful. And um, another goal is not to overbuy anything, including food. You know, even if it's a good deal, if I don't want to can it or freeze it, if I don't have the room for it, I don't want to buy it. And some of the things that I want to simplify is Maybe doing a little less cooking from scratch, uh, just keeping the meals simpler rather than too complicated, using my slow cooker, using my Instapot, uh, one dish meals where everything is in one place. So not to overcomplicate my, um, my food budget and spending on that. So those are some of my goals for 2024. 
Let me know what your goals are in the comments below. And uh, another thing is to keep ahead of my home repairs, to keep, get those done as needed. Um, and I should be able to do that now that I'm debt free. So I'm very thankful to God for me being able to do that. And uh, so there you go. So anyway, uh, don't give up. Never give up. Uh, continue going on your goals. The only time you give up or stop is when it no longer suits your needs or you've lost interest in something, then it's okay to stop. Other than that, never give up. Never give in. Um, so anyway, that's all I have for you today, my friends. Uh, make your home warm and cozy. That's what I've been working on. I want it to be a place where I enjoy being, not where I look around and go, oh my God. <laughs> I don't want that. So make your home warm and cozy. It doesn't take a lot of money to do that. You know, you can rearrange, like I said, rearrange your things or paint them a nice, warm, welcoming color. I like to use oranges and fall colors. They make me feel good. Um, whatever colors appeal to you, try using those in your space. So anyway, that's all I have for you today, my friends. I want to wish you abundant blessings. I love you guys. Be good to yourself. Be good to others. God bless you. And I'll see you next time. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe, comment, and like. It helps my channel grow. Don't forget to share. Thanks for watching.